So, ever since I said that I would be able to make my brawl hacking videos off of my Wii U console, people have been asking, how do you do it? Can you do it on the USB? Can you do it on the disc? Well, I'm here to tell you and show you that, yes, you can do it on both. And hopefully, at the end of this tutorial, I can show you how to do it on this and this. But you're gonna need this to... Don't use this! Don't be like me and use an SDHC card. You need a real SD card, a regular SD card. Make sure it's not an SCHC card. Because I almost made that mistake. That could either mess up your Wii or Wii U or could not work. But remember, get this. I bought this for like six bucks on Amazon. You can I'll probably link to the video. Besides the point, here's the video. We're gonna do the tutorial right now on how to hack this. This and that. We're doing it! <laughs> Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously install the homebrew channel, but this video is not really focused on installing the homebrew channel, it is focused on inst installing hacks onto the Wii U, so you can, you know, play Brawl Hacked. So if you want to see the video that I followed that did that, there's a link in the description right there, has everything you need, you just plop in the files in your SD card, you may have to format it in case you need to. If you don't know how to format it, just go to computer, right click, format, make sure it's at fat, and start, you might want to nickname it to Wii, I honestly don't think it matters, but there you go. Finding to format it, put your files in there, make sure that your stage builder has no stages in it, but make sure your SD card isn't in there yet, and then when you get out of the stage builder, you plop in your SD card, then you go back to the stage builder thing and then the twilight stuff should happen and uh you know that's that's where the the, the video takes on after but now we're gonna see how we uh, hack brawl disc and usb iso game file so what so what we need actually to even apply hacks is this magical thing called the <laughs> ocarina cheat game the yeah, code manager this thing will allow you to put codes into your game. What was the most important code that you need right here is the file patch code. This is what allows you to use your um, hack files into um, your umbrella ISO. This is that this is the interpreter. What tells what's in those uh, folders to uh, you know activate. So definitely you're gonna need that code. Um, I'll have um, I'll have codes in the description so you can use them. But yeah, definitely have this file patch code. All this. I'll, I'll include a text document. So when you have this open, you open a text document, and then you would find whatever document. I'll give you this one. Um, I'll I'll give you this one. This one has all of these, so you can you know have the the pause. You can have. No tripping, but you definitely want this one for sure if you want to play hacks. Now, how you would put your hacks to your SD card is simple. Export to GCT. Make sure it's to your SD card. Store the file. You might get an error though. It's okay. The first couple times like I had an error. Don't know why. It's in some weird language. And when you would find your SD card, go in there. Now, now, here's the thing you have to do. Right here, on the root of your SD card, you know, the, the first thing is, that you see when you open the SD card up, right click, make a new folder, rename it USB slash loader or whatever, like this, then go in there, then, go, then make a folder that says codes, and then you're gonna wanna rename this to, you know, RSPE01. Exactly, so it knows what what the codes are. That's the that's the code file, and then you would save it, and then you have your codes. It's it. Once you once it's saved, it'll say you know it's successfully replaced, and I have your codes. So here comes the fun part. How do you get the hacks? Well, the hacks. It's not that hard either, actually. All you have to do is um. Let me let me get my SD card right here. Uh, where is it? Let's see. Here's my SD card. So, you would make a private, well, you're already gonna have a private one. 
Or are you already gonna have a Wii one from the the things I'm gonna give you? You're gonna have an app. You're gonna have an RSBE. Now here's now here's the thing that you're gonna need. PF. PF might might not be a new thing. So you're gonna wanna make a PF folder. And then this is where all the fun stuff happens. Uh, fighter folders. Um, this is where all the <laughs> characters you want. I actually started this up with a Mega Man, so I had to make a nest folder. And then I had all of Mega Man's files right here. All of them. Actually, I need to delete that. I don't. That's the creepy thing. Not supposed to be there. That's when I was just learning. But yeah, here's his, um, costumes and his moves right here. Make sure you have the Ocarina code active, the um, GC, the .gct code, and you should be good. Have every folder for every character, so their move sets and costumes can be active in the game. And uh, oh yeah, this is a biggie because I might get questions about this. Um, how to have their their sound effects? Actually, you need this code big time. Hold on. To figure out how to apply the your sound effects to your hacks, all you have to do is just go to Super Sound. I don't even know how to say Super S. Then you find your BRSAR folder that has all the character sounds and other stuff. Wait for that to load. Okay, and you see these numbers right here. This is these are all the uh, group IDs. So say I don't know you want to. Let's see, you have Goku over Pit. So, group ID 10, group ID 10, and what do you know it's the first one right there? So, like, when you when you download it, let me give you, give you a good example, a good clear example. I have my, my files right here. When you have Goku right here, you just go to PF. You know, you, you could just, when, when you're in RSP, you could just, if you want Goku that badly, you just, could just drag it on there. That's the same for any hack if you don't want to make a PF folder and just have Goku. Or whoever, right away, you can just do that. Yeah, you can just do that. Or better yet, don't. Make a PF folder, and then just inside that PF folder, drag in, drag in the fighter folder, and then you'll have Goku. Or whoever. If you, if you want to do it that way. The edgy way. Anyways, enough of that. Sound. And that's his victories. His suffix back there you go. So right here, when you download, it's gonna be that. Just rename it to 10, and your your sonnet file should be good. But the way to activate it, you need this open, and you need this code. You desperately need, desperately need this code. I'll give you all the codes you need in the description. Don't worry. You need <laughs> there's a. I don't remember the, the exact code, but you need the, there's some SB code. It's like a replacement sound bank code. I don't know what it does, but it, it allows you to have like your uh, hacked, hacked sound effects in the game. So that you're going to need unless you're going to have Mega Man squeal like Ness every time he does his top spin. Which is annoying. But yeah, you're definitely going to need that. And you know, there's just the other codes I have active. So yeah, that's how you use, that's how you add the sound effects. That's how you add the characters' move sets, and you know you have your modules for you know stages and stuff you want to replace as other stages and uh, you know stages. Of course, make your make your melee folder, please, because what what I did was just make my stage folder and then just drag all my stages in here. But no, you have to make your melee folder or else it won't work. Then when you make your melee folder, you can put in all your custom hacks. The thing I hate about this so over Wii Scrubber is you can't just leave it on any normal whatever name as the download of this. You have to rename it exactly how it's described on the Wii ISO so the Wii ISO can know, hey I have these on the SD card, this is going to overwrite it from the original game and bam, now you can play those hacked stages and characters and have those sound effects in. So that's it. I. That's pretty much basic editing, basic hacking. I currently do not know how to um, portrait hack because, well actually not portrait hack, but like hack the uh, common five file that uh, lets you hack the custom, what is it, the uh, character selection screen. 
I thought just just editing the uh, common underscore five file in uh, Brawlbox and just replacing stuff in there would do it. But when I did it, it froze the game. So currently, I don't know how to do that. It's not a big issue as long as I can just have the heck characters and stages and the uh, oh music, sound, like an strm file, and have your custom music right here. Remember, they have to be named exactly how they're supposed to be in game. You can't have your own custom names in there, sadly. But that's how it is. You're, you're overriding the game files with codes. So that's how you apply hacks. This is how you would apply codes. I'll have my own codes in here, don't worry, for you guys that just need to get started. Maybe I'll put in the turbo code if you guys need, <laughs> just, just want a turbo code. But yeah, I'll, I'll, provide, I'll provide the codes, I'll provide the downloads. I'll provide the homebrew video thingy you need to know to install this if you've never even installed a homebrew channel on your Wii U. Which when I did it, it's pretty safe except it took a while to do. Remember to just have an SD card, not an SDHC card because that won't work. And remember that your SD card has to be 2 gigabytes because 2 gigabytes are... Anything more than 2 gigabytes apparently won't work from all the stuff that I did when I did research on this when I was hacking my Wii U. So buy a 2 gigabyte SD card, I guess I'll link mine in the description like I said, wasn't that expensive at all, others went for more pricey prices, but that's besides the point guys, that's pretty much it, I'm done, hopefully this helped you out, hopefully I satisfied somebody, I'm pretty sure I did, and hopefully you'll have fun on your Wii U, you know, playing on it, with the Wiimotes, with your not classic controller. <laughs> Actually, I bought one and then I took the third party one and the sticks are pretty, pretty, ugh. I kind of almost regret buying it, but it's a little better than playing on the Wiimote. That's besides the point, guys. Okay, sorry for that abrupt cut there. I just forgot that I had to actually show you how to do it on the USB loader side. So what you would need to do is just turn on your Wiimote, like I'm just doing right now, and uh, go over to your USB loader app. Load. Give it a sec. By the way, also, make sure your USB device that you're going to be booting up your games from is in this slot right here, the first slot, the one where the USB logo is right there. It, that's, I mean, that's where it reads it off. I don't know if it works on any others, not that I know of. I think I've tried and it didn't really work. Just load them off of that port and your, you know, devices will be, you know, loaded. Select you that device. That's what format the games are in. You know, I'm not showing you how to get the games, I'm just saying, you know, Brawl tutorial. You would go to, uh, this, this is for the USB side. You would go for uh, options. And for operating sheets, it might be a little off. Turn those on if you have your .gct file where I told you to put it. And, you know, save it. And you should be good. All you gotta do is really start. You should find your Ocarina codes like in that SD card directory. And your hack should be active. I'll give you an example right now. Alright, so we go in the bra right here and I select Mario and of course the one player code is chosen. Check Sonic, why not? And you know, have to go to a hack stage I have. Uh, great day, this is a great day. Yep. And your hack should be working. I'm playing on the Wemo currently right now, and it sucks. It sucks. So that's how you would do it on the USB side of things. On the disc, it's the pretty much the exact same thing. All you have to do is this. Okay, you're gonna go into your USB loader application again. And if you're doing this on disc, if you don't, you know, wanna have a nice so WBFS file for Brawl. Then it's simple. I, if you already have this, all you gotta do is just go to main. Just, you know, scroll downwards if you didn't catch that. And um, you boot the disc. Now for me, when I captured the shot here of my friend's game, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to keep the disc to actually, you know, show you all the numbers and codes and whatnot. But no, it's really simple. All you gotta do is put in the disc like so. And then, you know, it's gonna detect that it, you know, it, it, it's gonna boot up raw and it's gonna give you a bunch of options. And then, you know, once scrolling down the options, it'll tell you, you know, if you wanna manage stuff. And it should be the same as if, well, no, it'll, it'll just tell you if you can manage stuff, but uh, 
No, it's pretty much the same. You just have to have the codes in the in the right folder, like as if you're doing it off the USB drive. And you know, make sure that on the options right here on this menu when you have it in, that it's set to yes. Boot it up, and it should be good, just as if you're playing it off the USB with the hex. So that is it. They're both very similar, and you can both do it on here. So hopefully, I helped you guys out. Could have been a little better, but you know, I'm just no, I'm just not professional. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hopefully, this helped you out. And this is simple, and um, you know, if you like this, just like the video. And if you want to subscribe for more tutorials or help or just entertainment in general, or smash or anything, just keep it here. So hopefully, I help you guys out. Thanks for watching, and if you need any more help, just let me know. I'll try my best. Thank you.